thought I'd do a quick video on my experience with these wheel sets for my specialized bike, the Mavic Cerium Elite S, or K Cerium, I guess, Elite S. Um, went out riding, been riding quite a bit lately. Went out riding the other day, and lo and behold, my wheel was out of true, and I thought, oh, I'll, I just need to adjust my brake set there, and looked at it, and sure enough, it didn't have anything to do with it. The wheel was out of true. I look further, and I see this crack there. You can see a hairline crack going on either side of the nipple thread there. Um, right here, goes all the way across. Very fine, you can see there, but basically it goes all the way across. So, I went to adjust the nipple to kind of pull that low side back. You can see I put a mark a Sharpie on the rim as I spun it, kind of uh, just barely touching it. The center of that was here, so I wanted to tighten that spoke a little to pull it back true. And lo and behold, what does it do? It breaks off into this. At the time I thought, oh, okay, it's threaded wrong and I tried to see if I could get it threaded and or that it just came off the threads. But this isn't what the thing's supposed to look like. Here's one of the ones I took off afterwards. Basically, it's much longer, so probably somewhere around here it broke and the nipple was useless, which basically, once I saw the crack, I said, well, this isn't gonna work anyway. These wheels are shot. I've since gone and looked and lo and behold, four spots down from that is another crack in one of these right there. So, took them apart. Here's the hub. And here, like I said, is what the, the uh, bladed spoke is supposed to look like. Got a little groove in there. Um, but this slides up and down. Obviously, not really impressed at all with this uh, nipple tool that goes on here. I got the bark tool, which I'm almost certain is the right one. SW12. It does fit on there, but it's super tight. The tolerance is just way too tight. I don't know if it's this, uh, surely it's not the tool, but in my opinion, these, these nipples uh, could be designed a lot better or that tool needs to loosen up a little bit. Um, I'm almost certain it's the right tool because it does fit on there. It's just really tight. But this nipple design, I just think is awful. So when I took these off to go ahead and throw the rim out because I'm not gonna be able to do anything with it, Lo and behold, two or three more of these nipples broke while I was loosening them. You can see a couple here that broke. Not only did they break, they left the other portion. In some cases, they came out like that, but in other cases, the entire um, broken part stayed in there. And uh, I cut the smoke and just let them fall through because obviously I'm not gonna do anything with this rim and uh, you can hear them inside. I think there's two or three of these uh, cut spokes that I had to get <coughs> cut to um, just remove the hub and all the spokes. So I've had these for six years. So I guess that's a pretty good deal. Um, I just was very surprised that they didn't last longer than that and uh, not real impressed with the engineering on the nipples and how this nipple can break. And, uh, you know, obviously the cracks that you can see on the rim rendering it basically useless trash. 
think I'm going to be going for some Campagnola or maybe Zip wheels uh, to replace these. So I thought I'd just throw that out there so you could see these uh, Mavics. I hear they're in receivership now according to the bike shop I talked to. So it sounds like the company Mavic is going downhill.